what's next for Texas's abortion law now that the Supreme Court has overturned Roe v. Wade? We bring in Josh Blackman, professor at the South Texas College of Law. He is live with us. Josh, it's good to see you as always. Uh, you know, I think Texans want to know what to expect. And in our state, the law criminalizes the person who performs the abortion, not the person who undergoes the procedure. So have abortions essentially already stopped in Texas? Can prosecutors go after offenders right away? Well, thanks for having me. Um, the, the save the law is a bit unclear. Um, it's true that Texas has this trigger law that goes into effect within 30 days after Roe's overruled. But Texas also has an old law that was never repealed that permits abortions altogether. This was a law at issue in Roe. And now that Roe was overruled, this original law back from the 1800s goes back into effect. So in theory, at least, abortions are already illegal in Texas. I think most clinics have stopped performing them at this point. And how can this law be reversed, if that's possible? Does the power lie with the state legislature or the governor? Well, the state legislature could propose a bill to reform or modify the abortion law. Uh, the people could propose a state constitutional amendment. There are a number of channels that can go, through, uh, go forward. But the simple answer is it will not be the Supreme Court that changes this. It will be the state or the state courts. Uh, it goes to show you just how important state elections are. I think a lot of people are taking that away from this. Uh, Justice Clarence Thomas has called for overturning precedents on contraceptives and LGBTQ rights. How rare is this for a court to overturn precedent? And how have decisions stood for so long if there's no constitutional right? Well, I think Justice Thomas is sort of making a point that if the abortion case is wrong, the other cases are wrong to decide as well. Uh, I think it's important to stress only one judge, Thomas, supported that. Also, the other four in the majority said we are not going to overrule those cases, you know, and then the dissent said, don't believe them, don't believe them. Uh, overruling precedent is not terribly common, but what the Supreme Court said here is that this is a case that was egregiously wrong. It hasn't worked out. Things that we've learned over the past few decades have proven that Roe was wrong and this case cannot stand any longer. Josh, let's turn to another big development out of Washington over the weekend. President Biden signed bipartisan gun safety bill into law. He also condemned a Supreme Court decision expanding access to guns. So does this decision mean anything for Texas? Uh, nothing. Uh, the laws in Texas are very generous to gun owners and we, uh, we didn't need the Supreme Court to sort of intervene. Uh, the, the ruling from the Supreme Court on guns only affects six or maybe seven states, New York, California, New Jersey, Hawaii, and a few others, that make it very difficult to carry a gun. Uh, and even now, with this ruling, it'll be very difficult to carry a gun. They'll have different background checks involving mental health checks. You'll need to go provide letters of reference. Uh, there'll be lots of places where carrying is off limits. So I think the gun ruling will have a very limited effect on gun owners in those states, maybe in sort of the rural areas. But if you're in Manhattan, it will still be very tough to carry a firearm. Mm -hmm. And Josh, it's another Supreme Court opinion day, and we could get opinions on a couple of big cases. Uh, tell us about those. Well, about uh, three minutes ago, we got a decision. Not that I'm multitasking. Oh. Well, you know what? You're ahead of us. Mm -hmm. I try. Uh, only the best for Fox, right? Uh, about three minutes ago, a case was decided involving Coach Kennedy. He was a football coach out in California, and after a game, he would pray on the 50-yard line. Uh, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't require him to pray with him. He would pray by himself quietly. Um, the coach was fired. And just now, I've seen the opinion on my screen, the Supreme Court ruled that he has a First Amendment right to pray at the 50-yard line. Uh, he's not coercing anyone. He's not making anyone join him. And that's a right that the coach has. Uh, there'll be a few more opinions over the next 20 minutes or so, which I'll be off air. Uh, we still have a couple more cases to go. Okay, we could see one uh, on immigration as well. And yep, I'm reading the opinion right now as I just got the, go. uh, the push alert as you started speaking. Uh, you push, I pull. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks so much, Josh, for uh, informing us, keeping us up to date on these Thank things. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too.